Welcome back. We are continuing on with Shaw's Year in Review programming, coming to you today from an undisclosed location because I'm joined by Curtis Anderson, and whenever he goes out in public, he's pretty much mobbed by an adoring crowd. It's, it's tough. Don't, don't lie to the people, Simon. This is my office here in Shaw. <laughs> we it's, wish. It's a little lonely, but man, <laughs> come Fire Drill Friday, I am very popular. There's like a parade down the stairwell. Very good stuff. What's going on, Simon? You've been doing a heck of a job in these year in reviews. I've really enjoyed watching you talk to ah. talk to the uh, good on-air staff. I don't see. I'm not really part of the team. Like again, this is my office, so <laughs> it's fun. It's fun we to actually, look back. There's a big quarantine sign on the uh, on the door outside Curtis's office here. It is fun to look back. We've had a lot of fun uh, chatting with all the good folks we work with uh, here in Saskatoon and and around the province. Been an interesting year. Uh, of course, today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the year in arts and entertainment. And what a year it's been. It has been, a, been quite a year. Uh, we're starting off, I, I wouldn't have guessed this would be where we'd be starting. I got to be honest with you. Uh, first of all, we're going to talk about actually from Gardenscape. I had nothing against Gardenscape, but I, I'm a little surprised we're seeing that batting lead off. Well, let me uh, dial it up on my flat screen computer here. That's right. <laughs> Gardenscape went down March 30th. That's where we're going to start, Simon Hyatt. Why Gardenscape? I know you're wondering. I mean, I this am. is a guy who interviews guys like Jared Leto. Why, yeah. would I, why would I kick it off of Gardenscape? Two words for you. Anne Perry. Let me set the stage, Simon. Gardenscape is an annual event at Prairie Land Park. This year, they had a media competition. It was a floral arrangement. We almost didn't make it. It was a Friday afternoon. <laughs> Anne Perry and myself and Shooter Salicardo, we were feeling a little sluggish, so we stopped for Starbucks. And as you know, once we have a lot of coffee, we come alive. <laughs> we came alive. That's true. So we showed up late, and we were just like, you know, we screeched into the parking lot. <laughs> Everyone was over the top. We were yelling and screaming. We ran in. Ann Perry, who's allergic to flowers, sat there. And she right. started arranging, and we were loud. I was getting the, uh, the crowd involved. It was quite the experience. And bless her heart, Ann Perry, she ended up winning. All right, let's take a look. Your goal is to get the most votes from the audience. So by the end of it, it's up to them. So have fun, make them laugh. Um, let's see who can do the best arranging. You're watching Shaw Arts and Entertainment. I'm your host, Curtis Anderson. We're, we're knee deep. We're knee deep. You can feel it here. You can cut the tension with a knife. Gardenscape 2009, the media challenge going on right behind us. I'm joined by Susan Kuzma. Susan, sorry to pull you away from this. It's intense. Talk about what's going on behind us. The Gardenscape competition, the media. How is our Ann Perry doing? She's doing fantastic. It's the celebrity flower arranging, and uh, it's an event that we host every year, and everybody has a fantastic time. Quick, quick advice for her, because I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know a lot about gardening, but Steve Shannon seems to be getting the crowd behind him. Is, is, is gender coming to play here? Is gender an issue? Being the only guy up there, is Steve Shannon winning over the crowd? Well, I think Steve's been here pretty much every year, so he's probably got a loyal group behind him. So, Steve, tell me a little bit about your This looks fantastic. What's the game plan here? What's the game plan? Did you have a chance to uh, size up the competition? Well, I did a little. I, I noticed I got a great selection of flowers of all different types, <laughs> colors, varieties. So, so uh, it's looking quite plentiful. From far away, seriously. Not saying this just because I'm a little on the buy side. Yours looks the best. Thanks, Curtis. Right, so I appreciate that. It's pretty competitive here. How are you going to do the big reveal? Are you going to like turn around? Do you have some pyro or something? Like, what are you going to do? I think, I think you should. Like a slow rotation. No, I think you should hold it up above your head as if you won a championship That's title. A good idea. Maybe I'll hold like hold it like a bouquet. No, hold it up above your head. Above you my head. Above so like head. wrestling style. Yeah. Wrestling style. Yes, always a time. Thank you. Your 
you're here every year, I understand. People are telling me you're a big fan of this particular media competition. Yes, I am, because one year I was when they picked a, a person out of the audience to do it as well. And so I got to be one of the competitors there. So it was quite fun. I'm guessing you schooled the media people. You probably took it that year, did you not? No, I didn't. Who did no. you lose to? Uh, do you remember? No, I don't. That was okay. probably about seven years ago, maybe. Well, yeah. This is the first year Shaw is all in, and Perry representing Shaw TV. She's the one on the end here. How is she doing? I think what do you she's think? doing fantastic. Um, yeah. yeah. I was hoping that she would fill in the bottom of her pot, but she's done that now because uh, otherwise, you know, there's an empty spot there. But I think her variety of color is doing really well. Yeah. Is there any last minute tips we can give her before she does the big reveal, the big over the head reveal? Uh, no, I think she's doing okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe just a big smile. Yeah, for sure. All right. Yeah, thank you so much. One. You got to cheer. Yeah. Cheer for Anne, the okay. loudest. Okay. Shaw right TV, it's our year. Yes. Thank you very okay. much. I, I thought I would start off small and build it up, and I heard it's really the opposite way that you do that. I was lucky to get an array of flowers of different colors, so I wanted to do a trail of Gerber daisies down the front and then sort of balance them out by having some reds on both sides. Um, some of these beautiful cascading flowers I just wanted spraying out in various places. And yeah, there was lots of greenery, so I just filled it in throughout and built up towards the back so that it has a couple levels, which is a bit more visually appealing. And yeah, basically just went with my intuition. We want your 93 million votes here to go for who you want, what you want to win here, okay? So there again, let's go for Steve. Okay, and how about Ann? Yeah! I think well. we have a winner, Ann Perry from Shaw TV. Woo! Congratulations. Yeah. There you go. All of your arrangements will be on display, so we'll have everybody will be able to come right, and see right them right in the, in the cooler here. Two words come to mind, Ann Perry. Total domination. Say something <laughs> to the fans. I don't know what to say, Curtis. I'm really surprised by this honor. I've never uh, arranged flowers before in my life, and I'm allergic to flowers. So I uh, took an antihistamine and came out here. Get and, closer uh, to your nose. Yeah. In true Shaw fashion, we oh, showed up last, and uh, we had copious amounts of coffee before we came, and everyone else was kind of in like their little zen gardening mode, and Anne was, you know, coffeeed up. Did that help? It did. I think the warm-up helped too. Warm, you yeah. know, the stretching the beforehand, stretching, the, stretching before. the coffee. Uh, yeah, basically the ritual that we went through before this competition really helped me come it out really uh, and succeed in the end. Uh, say something to your fans, because this did come down to applause. You schooled Steve Shannon. Odds on favorite right at the end. Steve basically had this thing wrapped up. Yes. In comes Shaw TV's Ann Perry right at the end. Steve had an incredibly professional looking bouquet yeah. and he had inv an advantage over me. He's won, uh, he won two years ago. Well, we thought it was going to come down to a gender thing because he was the only guy. So he was going to yeah. get some pity votes, but not even pity votes could compare to this floral arrangement. Again, say something to the fans real quick, Ann. Uh, thank you all for watching Shaw TV and I hope uh, this bouquet helps us invite spring. I think you should hold it up above your head as if you won a championship That's title. A good idea. Maybe I'll hold like hold like a bouquet. No, hold it up above your head. Above my head. head so like head. wrestling style. Yeah. <laughs>